what is the difference in thrombus? There are three, four terms I want you to be clear. Number one, what is platelet adhesion? What is platelet aggregation? What is platelet plug? And what is thrombus? Yes, these are the terms. What is platelet adhesion? What is plate? I'm asking four questions to you rather I should ask five questions thrombus trigger me to that side what is platelet adhesion what is platelet aggregation what is platelet primary platelet plug and what is thrombus and what is coagulation someone should be able to differentiate these five terms raise your hands okay one person has one hand anyone else has hands <coughs> yes I should remind you everyone has two hands raise your hands who really knows very clearly the difference in platelet adhesion, platelet aggregation, platelet plug, primary plug, coagulation and thrombus. Yes ma'am. Have you heard of these terms? Yes. But do you know how they are different? At least tell me they are different in spellings. Yes. Yes. But any other concept better than this? Mm -hmm. When the comes and join the platelet, it is aggregation. Very good. Let me explain what she is saying. Let's suppose this is your endothelial cells, right? These are endothelial cells which are injured. These are endothelial cells which are injured. When platelet first time come and stick here, these platelets are sticking to. They are sticking to not to the platelet this first layer of platelet is sticking to non platelet surface when platelets stick to non platelet surface we say there is platelet adhesion right what is happening what is platelet adhesions that if this is board white board if four boys come and stand here this is boy adhesion right this is boy adhesion in the same way when platelet boys are like platelets when platelets stick to the no, non platelet surface they are called platelet adhesion okay you come here three boys i need here rapidly rapidly let's suppose this white board is white board is what endothelium, endothelium injured endothelium now this platelet come and stick here yes another platelet come 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 two platelets now now these three platelets which are sticking with the endothelium or sub endothelial exposed collagen injured these platelets are sticking to this surface we say this is a process of platelet adhesion, adhesion. now another boy come yes you come no no you stick to this boy oh okay you face there so no risk <laughs> yes yes one more boy needed yes please come i'm not going to call girls relax okay now the second layer is platelet aggregation because platelets are now sticking to the platelets that's right right so when first layer when platelets stick to the non platelet surface platelet adhesion but when when platelet stick with each other when platelets stick with each other this is platelet aggregation and then become more platelets yes 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 come yes more platelets if too many platelets come and stick with each other and why more platelets are coming because the first platelet when they arrive and stick those platelets are activated and they release the substances which call more platelets so more and more platelets are coming and these platelets are getting attached over here when too many platelets are, are collected right we say this is primary platelet Hello. plug right but when this primary platelet plug convert into thrombus yes anyone yes doctor when we say that this primary platelet plug become a thrombus no idea okay listen 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 collagen doesn't come here just a minute now when platelet plugs are attached here you activate your hands like this yes activate your hands like this these are activated platelets activated platelets what comes that coagulation factors come 
touch them and coagulation factors become activated coagulation factors are basically proteins and the final result of that coagulation factor is that activated coagulation factor eventually converts soluble protein fibrinogen into fibrin and fibrin strands will come over here what will come fibrin strands all these wires are tied together with ropes chains so what happened in the blood there were proteins going coagulation proteins i will not going to detail when they they are caught by the activated platelets and those proteins start converting fibrinogen into fibrin fibrins are the strands they are strands and those fibrin deposition will help these platelets to stick with each other in a way over all these wires we throw the network of net of fibrin this process conversion of soluble fibrinogen the process of converting soluble fibrinogen into insoluble fibrin that process is called coagulation that process is called coagulation so what happened first platelet adhesion then platelet aggregation and activation then coagulation and when platelet plug plus coagulation that is called thrombus so what is thrombus thrombus is when within the circulatory system somewhere platelets undergo process of adhesion aggregation activation and make a platelet plug and once this plug is formed on the top of that plug if fibrin deposits we say platelet plug has which process coagulation process and this platelet plug plus coagulated fibrin these together make a thrombus please thank you go back to your seats so anyway i will not go into detail further you know the difference platelet adhesion platelet sticking to non platelet surface platelet aggregation platelet sticking to each other platelet plug when lot of platelet are sticking together activated and they undergo certain morphological changes and making a unified mass that is primary platelet plug at the top of that plug plug if coagulation process deposits the fibrin that is coagulation then plug platelet plug plus coagulation together make the thrombus and if that thrombus which is formed here it detaches detaches from here it break away and start moving here then this thrombus is called embolus when thrombus break away and moves like a embolus then it is called embolus and because this and this thrombus keep on moving and goes in some other part of the vascular system and plugs that for example if this thrombus detach from here it kept on moving moving and block this area we say this part of the vascular system has undergone the process of thrombo embolism so you understand thrombus is until it is attached and if it is freely moving it is embolus and when it reaches to new place and block we say a thrombus which become emboli has blocked when blockage occur then we say there is thrombo embolism let's